outline the functional role of the cortex cerebellum loop in motor learning. So, as we noted in the previous video, in the middle of this diagram you see the SMA and the premotor cortex sending signals to the motor cortex which results in motor output. But you also have the cerebellum here and the cerebellar loop. Now this loop also has associative and motor properties and the cerebellar associative loop has to do with the learning of spatial sequences and the cerebellar motor loop has to do with the learning of motor sequences. In this case, however, the error signals are a bit different and they have to do with sensorimotor error, that is error that's detected and modified within the motor system itself and also errors in terms of timing. So that's what distinguishes the two loops, the type of error that's being evaluated, the basal ganglia evaluating reward errors and novelty errors, the cerebellar loop and the cerebellum evaluating sensory motor areas and timing areas.